Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Hint. In this video, we are going to learn how to define variable in Ansible. So first of all, here you can see what is Ansible. So Ansible uses variables to manage differences between system. With Ansible, you can execute tasks and playbooks on multiple different systems with a single command. And to represent the various among those different systems, you can create variable with standard YML syntax and including list and directories. And you can define this variable in your playbook, in your inventory, and in reusable files or roles or at the command line. And you can also create variables during a playbook run by registering the return value or values of a task as a new variable. So that's the Ansible variable. So in simple language, Ansible variable is a playbook where we use the variable in similar way where we use any other programming language. And it helps to assign a value to variable and reuse in the complete your playbook. So that's the Ansible variable. So the next is here you can see Ansible variable declare. So there are uh, three ways to declare a variable in Ansible. So the first is playbook with vars, then second create new file or variable and third declaring variable in the inventory file. So in this video, we are going to learn the first playbook with vars and second create a new file for variable. So we are going to learn this two uh, ways how to de declare variable in Ansible. So firstly, here you can see how to declare a valid variable. So here a variable name can only include letter numbers and underscores and variable names can begins with an underscore. So for example, you can declare variable like this project underscore name or underscore project underscore name or project underscore name underscore two or one any number and then underscore project name underscore so you can declare variable like this so now first of all check your system information using below command so let's check so first of all run the command ansible all hyphen m setup or if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, check information in a specific group, uh, so you can enter group name. So my group name is DevOps Hint. So here you can see this is your system information. From here to here. Now, Firstly, clear the screen. Now, if you want to check any specific uh, information of your system, then you can use filter like this. Filter equals to, now I want to check host name. So run the command ansible underscore host name. Sorry, first of all, you need to. Now here, you, uh, if you want to check any specific information, so you can use filter, but first of all, uh, you need to run here argument, that means hyphen A, then filter. So you can see uh, your host name, uh, sorry, your host IP, and success so if you want to uh, check any specific uh, info system information then you can use this filter so now clear the screen now now the first is define variables in playbook so the simple way to define a variable in using vars keyword in the playbook so first of all we need to uh, create playbook using this command so my playbook is sorry first of all we need to create playbook so
pseudo nano and name of our playbook. So my playbook name is sample dot yml and here you need to add this line so you can see here this is the defined variables in playbook so we are going to define variable in playbook so simple example of variable in playbook so now you need to paste this code in our playbook so here you can see the playbook start with three dash then single dash then host here you can see this is my group name and then in where so here i'm declare a title and in title enter a message welcome to devops Saint. and in task you can see your ansible playbook variable definition example so this name is optional if you don't want then you can remove this then in debug there is a message that means here i'm define a variable welcome to devops Saint. now save the file and exit and now we are going to run our yml that means our uh, sample yml we are going to run ansible playbook so run the command ansible hyphen playbook and sample.yml so here you can see uh, here i'm using uh, that by default host host file that's why here i have not mentioned any host file if you using special uh, spare host name then you can uh, enter hyphen i and then name of your inventory file so your command look like this but here i'm using the by default uh, the whole inventory file that means host file so that's why here i'm not mentioned in inventory file now you can see here uh, our playbook is running and you can see the message here in Ans ansible playbook variable definition example message welcome to devops scene so that's the uh, so here we have defined variable in our playbook here you can see in where section and we are going to declare here so that's the first way here you can see that's the first way playbooks with vars now we are going to uh, learn second way create a new way file for variable so let's start so here you can see the second way create a new file for variable so first of all you can define variable in one or more files and here uh, we will take an example of installing an apache web server on our client node and below is our variable file present in the same folder where our playbook so first of all we need to create vas.yml file so let's create using touch command touch vars.yml so if you run the ls command here you can see this is sample.yml our uh, playbook and then vars.yml that our file so now we are going to run sudo nano and vars.yml and now here we are going to define or uh, declare variable so here you can see we are going to declare package name. So my package name is Apache 2 because I'm installing Apache 2 on my client machine. So now this is my vars.yml file. So now save the file and exit. And now we are going to run our pipeline. We are going to open our pipeline sudo nano sample dot yml and now here we are going to change the code here because here we are going to install apache
Now here you can see the playbook start with three dash here, then single dash and in name setting up Apache web server and in host name, this is my group name DevOps scene become true. And in task here you can see here we are going to declare uh, that a variable file vars.yml include vars then our this is our variable file vars.yml then in name this is optional install apache 2 and then in apt here you can see name and in package name that our apache 2 that we define in vars.yml file now save the file and exit and now we are going to run our sample.yml uh, playbook. So run the command ansible playbook sample.yml. And if you remember, I told you that if you if you uh, use any special inventory file, then you can uh, enter your hyphen i, then name of your inventory file. So here I'm using by default host file. So that's why here I'm not mentioned in inventory file. So you can see here uh, install Apache changes and now it's done. Now let's check in browser. So this is my client node IP. So now copy the IP. And now we are going to access in our browser. So let's check our Apache is installed or not. So here you can see Apache 2 Ubuntu default page that means our Apache 2 server successfully installed in our client node. So this is Ansible variables. So in this video, we have learned Ansible variables. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.